Baptist Parish and one of the Christ. Put your hands together, Mr. Guy Hands up.
the declaration on the elimination of all forms of intolerance and discrimination based on religion or belief. Now, this declaration recognises and declares freedom of religion as a fundamental human right, fundamental human right in accordance with several other instruments of international law. Now, that being said, despite the declaration and the push for freedoms uh, for all of you, you can't mis mis misconstrue this act as a means to eradicate all forms of prejudice throughout the world. Now, First World War countries continue this ongoing battle, toing and froing with new rules, laws, agendas, and campaigns to fight against vilification and discrimination in all its forms. Now, despite the longevity of this fight, it is an ongoing battle which we cannot give up on, and that's why you're here today. Our nation has come a long way with regards to the provision of legal protections for individuals against vilification and discrimination in any variety of forms. Now, despite this progress, numerous forms of discrimination and vilification continue to occur today as much of the issue stems from intolerance and a lack of understanding. Now, you only need to go back a few years to think about the changes which were proposed which were proposed to Section 18 to the Racial Discrimination Act. Now, these changes would have watered down the protections for individuals being targeted by racists and bigots and all in the name of open quote, free speech, and quote there. And it has amassed substantial support throughout the course of the debate. Now, despite the best intentions on both sides, there is never a winner in such debate. Each side fervently believed they were right, and you can only re recall what was happening during that time, while believing the other side just needed to open up their eyes and ears a little bit more in their minds and understand things from the other in the own point of view. Now, such debates seldom make headway when they are issues of contention, wherein much of the topic matter is misunderstood by many of the parties involved and it ultimately comes down to a lack of understanding or empathy with the winners and the losers on both sides of the debate. Now, similar things can be said for the same-sex marriage legislation, which was recently debated and voted upon. Now, there was a lot of head clashing and emotions were running high, and the debate was not always on, on point or portrayed with a holistic view. I personally believe that the key to take away from such recent events is the importance of consultation, understanding, the information available to you, and ultimately ensuring your voice is heard by your elected representatives, uh, including myself. Now, all members of Parliament present here today will be more than willing for constituents in their electorate to get in contact with their res respective officers to voice concerns about current issues, events, to ensure your opinion was heard on important matters such as religious freedoms and why we're here today. Now, without voicing your views and opinions to your elected representatives, you are essentially disposing of your democratic right to ensure your voice is heard and your views on current or future legislation have been taken into consideration when your, member, when your elected member of parliament casts their vote on the issue. Now, if there's one thing to take away from today, it's that your voice matters and it's important that you communicate with your elected representatives on issues that are important to you. Now, parliamentarians are responsible for the inception and modification of laws of the land, so to speak. That is why it's important for us to hear your concerns, especially on virtually important and contentious issues, on vitally important and contentious issues. Now, in May 2018, the Australian Federal Government received a Ruddock Review, which took a deep dive into religious freedoms, which included a range of recommendations highlighting issues with ex existing legislation and arrangements, and ultimately, discuss the importance of religious freedom here in Australia. And I'd like to quote a snippet from the Federal Government's own response, which noted that the review reported that, I quote, 
Freedom of thought, conscious, conscience and religion is a right enjoyed by all, not just those of faith. It protects those who live a life of faith and those who live by other beliefs or indeed no beliefs. It protects those who face coercion and it says that impairs their freedom to choose their religion or beliefs. It protects those views on faith or belief change over their time. It is not a protection for religions. It, a, it is a protection, a human right for religious and non-religious and those who subscribe to other belief systems, end quote. And that was uh, coming out from the federal government. Now, I personally believe that there is quite an astute summary of why we are here today. The protection of religious freedoms are about a fundamental part of our Australian democracy, and it is about ensuring we have the appropriate protections for everybody, not just those of a particular faith or particular belief. Now, despite this being an ongoing debate dating back centuries, we can surely attest to the significant progress that's been made over the years, and we are tremendously better off now than a century ago. Individuals and in Australia can and should be free to live a life free of persecution. Whether they attend the evening <coughs> prayers, Sunday worship, adorn a head covering, or abstain from religious practices, irrespective of the individual's beliefs, practices, or faith may be, we all must work together towards a harmonious society built upon acceptance, tolerance, and inclusion for all, not only for a select few who fit within a certain mould. Now, together we can work to build upon laws, ideals, and exceptions for all of our fellow countrymen and countrywomen. This will be a long and arduous process, which will require an ongoing comprehensive consultation and mutual understanding and compromise to be achieved for the desired result of peace and freedom for all. As we stand united, ladies and gentlemen, we can together choose to pursue and support the fundamental ideals of religion, freedom of religion and worship for all as we strive towards a better version of Australia, which is free from discrimination and prejudice. Thank you very much for your time, ladies and gentlemen, and enjoy the rest of the day.